straight here and we go back This is the moment, tonight is the night We'll fight till it's over, so we put our hands up Yo, what's going on everyone? Weetos here, welcome back to the channel. What I'm going to show you all today is the fastest way to get yourself the new crystals because the big ones are extremely hard to get. Same with the medium and the raw, they're pretty easy. So here we go, this is a game after I went to round 56 and that's how many crystals I got so it is pretty hard to get these crystals. So let's jump straight into it and I'm going to show you guys the best and the fastest way to do this. So let's get two zombies on D Machina. I'm just going to train them up and I have made this glitch a lot easier so hang around to check that out. And I'm just going to lay down. Now prone mode is optional and when I stand back up and then lay back down it's going to pop me under the map. Right, now this is the part that's going to be way easier because usually you have to use five stems, your healing aura, and sometimes it can be a bit tricky. But now, if you upgrade your healing aura to tier five, wait until you see how easy this is, guys. You've got all the time to do this. Look, I even fail four or five times before I get up here, and I've still got plenty of time to make it down. So just do a little turn jump, and you'll eventually get up here. Now just run down and activate this door. See that just makes it so much easier with the tier 5 Aether Shroud. If you have not got that yet, though, there is a way to do it with the standard Aether Shroud, tier 3 and 5 stems. It's a little bit trickier, so if you've got this upgraded, definitely use it. You can also get your friend in your game to use his to help you out. So once you've done all of that and opened up the doors, you're going to grab yourself a monkey bomb. Now we're going to be getting the monkey bomb glitch, so I'm not the host, so all I'm doing is I'm going to come on over here and I'm going to throw my monkey bomb on the wall and when it bounces I'm telling my friend who's host to pause the game and that's it. Now I'm just going to back out the game and once I back out I'm just going to rejoin and if you guys don't know this yet, the 1.13 patch, they did put a cap on the rounds so you can only join to round 5 so after round 5 you cannot join back but there's a way around that so all you need to do is when the host pauses the game before you leave he keeps it paused until you rejoin and you get to the load up menu now right now I'm getting the no target god mode too because why not I'm joining back so why not get it so all that is is when I see create a class pop up on my screen I tell my friend in the game to call the last zombie standing right here and then what that does is it spawns and calls me and I do not want to pick a class so I want to just leave the controller alone when I joined and let the players in the game pass this round and when I spawn back in I'm going to have no target god mode so no zombies are going to be attracted to me no megatons and no dogs at all is going to want to come for me and an added bonus is I can also create a class. Like So if I go to create my class, I'll show you the now. I'll press pause, go to create a class, swap, and it actually swaps your guns mid-game, what's pretty good for getting your camos. Now, that's not all, guys. We're going to make this epic. We're going to make this super fast for you guys. So this is the spot we're all going to stand once we're set up. And that's going to make sure no megatons spawn. So what I've went and done is I went and got myself a death machine. Now I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of the sentence and I'm going to put it on tap to reload. Once I do that, I'm going to come on over to the pack a punch. I'm going to hold square, then push right on the D-pad about half a second later. Now once the death machine comes out in your hand, is all I'm doing is I'm pack a punching. And as you see, I got 400 and 400 bullets, so that adds up to 800, which is going to help you guys out, so you do not accidentally lose this death machine. Now, we're going to get unlimited death machine ammo to make this glitch even more insane. So all I'm going to do is activate my Aether Shroud, I'm going to grab myself a bow. Now all I'm doing, I've got tap to interact on, and I'm going to spam square and I'm just going to drag that death machine and bow all the way down to the spot we're standing. So let's do that. Now once I'm down there at this spot, 
To get unlimited ammo, all I'm going to do is shoot my first 400 bullets out my death machine. Then I'm going to swap to my gun and I'm going to pick up the bow and then pick my death machine back up. And that's going to restock your ammo every single time. Now when you're standing here, it's best with two players, just so the rounds are a bit faster. You could also get the host to leave. Eh, not the host, sorry. I could leave and leave the host in the game so he could do this on his own. We would get it even faster rounds. So just pretty much get one person shooting, then let the other person shoot while you're restocking your ammo. See, pick up, drop, pick up, and that's it. Back to 400 bullets. So that's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. I hope you guys all enjoy the fastest method to get all your crystals the fastest way. So it's been Weetles, I've left a full round in here on 53 and it's 1 minute 10 a round on these higher rounds using this glitch. So that's insanely fast. So I hope you guys all enjoy the video. Don't forget to drop a like, check out the Discord, it's been Weetles and I'm out. <laughs>